Hey, hey! My name is Miriam Teakley and I play Juliet in the brand new musical and Juliet. We have just finished our first week in rehearsals. Week one has gone so fast, I can't even deal. Like, where did it go? Where did it go? It took so long for us to get to this stage of starting rehearsals and week one's already gone. Usually in a rehearsal process for a musical, you'd already have a set script, good to go. Um, you start from the beginning of the, the script and you would just work through, put everything down. But we've had kind of a different process because we're literally creating this musical from the ground up. Everything we create is brand new. Everything that's written is brand new. We actually had a workshop earlier on this year where we discovered so much about the story that we wanted to tell and we were able to kind of do a showing to ticket sales people, to um, production team, to some of our peers, family and friends, and just to kind of get a general consensus of what people thought of the story. It meant that we could work out what worked, what didn't work, what needed tweaking, what kind of story arcs needed a little bit more ironing out. Now that we started this rehearsal process properly, we actually started at act two because that was the place that needed like the most changes we all work collaboratively in creating something that is completely ours we as actors put in our input the choreographer puts in her input jennifer weber the director luke shepherd putting in his input the writer david west reed putting in his input he's changing things all the time keeping us on our toes but also it's such a safe space which means that you're able to make mistakes we are able to get things wrong we're able to realize that some things don't work and that's okay like now is the time to make those mistakes so that we can really put something on the stage that we're proud of One in particular has been just working out my vocal stamina of what it means to be able to lead an entire show. I was a lead once before in on the town at Regent's Park, which was my first job from graduating. That vocally was in a different place because it was very much more operatic. Because it's so technical, it just, I don't wanna say it's easier, but it almost feels like it's a little easier. Because in doing this, it lives in the kind of pop world. Belting on the voice constantly is obviously not gonna be great for the voice. And it's just about kind of working that out in a way that's technically right so that you can do it again and again and again and again and again. And these songs are very, very high. And there's a lot of songs. There's so many songs. So I just have to pace myself. Dominic Valacaro and Bill Sherman, the MD and the orchestrator, keep telling me, hold it back pace yourself, don't give it full fire every single time. I just wanna keep singing it full out every time, but I just need to kind of gauge that and know that in rehearsals, sometimes you give it full out, sometimes you can hold it back. Because it's, it's a stamina thing, you know, and it's building yourself up, but it's also not burning yourself out. I'm learning every single day and I'm steaming every day and I've got my vocal nebulizer. It just has to be a way of life and I can't go out and be, drinking all the time and I can't go out and be pieing, screaming. You can't do that. Another challenge has been being able to just be ready for scene changes constantly. Your script can change at any point. Yesterday you could have been doing a scene and you're like, yeah, I've got it down, boom, boom, boom. You come in tomorrow and then it's like completely different scene change. Or sometimes it's just slight differences, just slight word order changes, things like that. And you just always have to be open-minded and ready for the change. Especially with a new musical, nothing set in concrete. So like, don't hold on to anything. Don't get attached. <laughs> Luke Shepard, the director, he always says, don't get too attached to things because they can change. <laughs> I like to go home after rehearsals every day and like just flick ahead to the scenes that we're gonna do because it just means that I'm always on my toes, it means that I'm always there and even if I don't know the words word for word for word, I know the intention, I know my objective for the scene and I come with a big choice. It's better to come into a scene with a choice than to kind of just sit there and like wait to be told because you can do that but also like it's great if you bring something too because then it becomes a collaborative process which is when you get the best the best of both you know and that's that's when you get something great because it's real because it's come from you and it's also something that's real that's been given direction mm -hmm. 